In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to do HTTP redirects in an IIS server on Windows 2008 R2. First, we want to open up Internet Information Services on the server by going to Start, Administrative Tools, and then IIS Manager. From here, we'll click on our server and then double-click on HTTP redirect. A redirect allows us to send any request to a specific website or web page and we can redirect it to a different location either inside the same website or to a completely different location outside of the server. So first thing we're going to want to do is check the box that says redirect request to this destination. So from here we can put in test.com slash test. So if someone comes into this default website then they'll be redirected to this particular website and this particular page. Over here we have redirect all requests to exact destination. You would want to use this if the destination is going to be outside of the internal website. If it is inside the internal website then check the box that says only redirect requests to content in this directory not subdirectories. So if you want to redirect them to a web page that's inside this particular directory then you definitely want to check this box. Otherwise you can check this box to redirect them to outside of this particular directory. Here we have the fa uh, status codes. The found is the default. Uh, permanent actually tells the client that there is a new location for the site so the next time they go they'll automatically go to that site instead of having to come and be redirected and then the temporary site tells the client that this is just temporary that in the future it will uh, be back to the way it was so found is the default and the best way to go and then when you're done you can hit apply